Hey everybody, it's Triple L, and now let's talk my- Ugh. Jeez, not that one, no, we're talking Shokugeki no Soma, or Food Wars, chapter 297. Oh my god, it was so embarrassing. Anyway, guys, let me tell ya, I really like Don Kalama, man. Like, every time I see him on the screen, I'm just like in my head, I can hear this song playing, and it goes like, da 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 And it's just like, yeah, I was so happy whenever this guy showed up. I think he's super quirky. And I think this chapter largely remedied a lot of the problems I had with the previous chapter. But speaking of the previous chapter, guys, let's get into that super hardcore speculative analysis part. So, like, last chapter, you know, I gave my possibilities here that it could be like either the author wants to rush through this arc to get out of it or you know uh, he's um, facing the threat of cancellation um, and I think on that video I was, mu was much more like leaning towards cancellation and I needed to wait to see this chapter to see what the author was doing and like this chapter just it was so much better this, uh, it was yeah it was just so much better the character interactions here were on point man like overall I, I, I was enjoying it and you know, it's, it's funny too, like I was reading the chapter in that first little bit with uh, the WGO head person. Again, I still think, you know what, I think that's Irina's mother, honestly. I think that's that's probably her. But you know, starting the chapter with the with the WGO uh, and listening to how they're, they've changed the rules for one of the particular matches because it was requested as it turned out later on. And uh, just turning it into a team battle. Yo, I was getting ready to like, just come out lashing on Soma just in terms of its writing here because like honestly you can see what it's doing they uh, they went into this team battle because when it comes to Takumi as it turns out Takumi's one of the people who does better in a team battle because you know they can play up that dynamic with the brother and they can show that this is one of uh, Takumi's unique talents and heck as it turns out during the chapter uh, Irina calls it almost superhuman level um, the degree of teamwork between them and I'm just thinking oh man yeah like totally from a narrative point of view like that's what the authors do and he's just trying to show off the characters and all their best points but then the author goes in there and he like uh, reveals that no Is Isami has been captured by drag queens according to the manga stream translation he's been captured oh no what's Takumi gonna do and then Soma comes in there the second person or the next best person after Isami to be able to bring out Takumi's true potential I'm just like what author that was good nice little twist there author Now have you turned this into a Soma Takumi tag battle while also giving us accolades of the Takumi and Isami relationship oh man author no way you were gonna bring back this one character that you haven't like really talked about man that was nice oh man author you're gonna go and tell us like what Isami and uh what what is it Ara uh, what's her name Arato Arato uh, what Okay, I'm kind of forgetting her name, but you know the one, like uh, Irina's uh, secretary. That was so fun, man. That was that was so cool. I was so into that. I, I think this was a good good chapter overall. Uh, mind you, I don't really want to be stuck in the cooking process for like two chapters. But if the next chapter is just a flashback of how Soma uh, lost to Takumi enough for him to return his Metzaluna. I'm totally into that, man. I'm, I, I wanna see this stuff. This is the stuff that, you know, they skipped over in the time skip that I really wanted to see. I wanna see Soma lose to Takumi. I think that would be great. I think, can you imagine how happy Takumi would have been when he won against Soma? Man, would have been amazing. Anyway, point is, I think this was a really solid chapter. Not only did you have a legitimately funny character in, in Don Calma, and you know his groupies and you know also Don Kalma just his, his art in general is pretty cool like did you see the posing that they did for Don Kalma in this chapter like some of his poses are just nice to look at like honestly man uh yeah overall I'm very overwhelmed well not overwhelmed but I'm very swayed by this chapter and when it comes to like trying to figure out why is the author doing the things he's doing I'm honestly at a loss because this chapter the way it's paced doesn't really make me feel like it's um under threat of an impending cancellation. Not only that, at the end of the chapter, they say that uh, it's getting a color page because of all of its popularity. So it's like, well, Jesus, what was the excuse for last week's chapter? Only real reason I can come up with is just, well, it's just how things shook, shook out. Maybe the author was going for some kind of weird uh, shock value, um, but I think it, it just it was really nasty what, they, what he did with Tsukasa, not even giving Tsukasa like a proper judging period like you know it, it was weird so i'm not really sure what's going on here with soma but this chapter makes me feel like everything's okay because this is more 
you know, more, I guess, compatible with the regular SOMO way of doing things. It's, it's really interesting. It's a really interesting case study here. Um, again, this is turning into one of those situations. I need to see more chapters because these two are so diametrically opposed. I can't, I, I, it's hard for me to try to trace back this, the, the guy's thoughts patterns here. Again, um, in the, in the long run, like, is it, is it a good thing? Like, yeah, this chapter was good. I, I really enjoyed it. I found it funny and entertaining. Um, but it really does show me that I think a lot of the strong points, for me at least, I really do enjoy seeing um, the the old characters or, you know, just people from Totsuki. I enjoy seeing them. And, you know, again, you know, I should look up her name, but uh, Irina's secretary and Izami getting accolades. That's cool. That's so cool. The thought that they could be in the Elite 10 once the current third years are out of there. Man, that's so exciting. I'm so excited for that future. Oh, it's just unfortunate that uh, some of these, th these things are just kind of skipped over. Honestly, I would have loved to see an arc where it was just the Elite 10 uh, reaching their spots. Or, you know, just not reaching their spots. They kind of reached their spots during the Regiment of Cuisine. But, you know, defending their spots. I think... I think the author could have made a lot of really easy slice of life chapters of them just facing off against other chefs. At least it would have made their whole entry into um, into the blue feel more realistic. Mind you, if the author is saying that th these things have happened before, then it's like, all right, yeah, that's a lot more digestible than just Takumi and Megumi showing up at this thing while other people aren't there. Hisako, there it is. <laughs> ah, I got her name. All right, cool, cool, cool. Anyway, Hisako. Um, anyway, overall, like, again, the chapter did a few things, right? It introduced Don Kama officially. It gave us some motivations. It gave him a, a bit of a, a quirky personality. I really love his style. Again, like, I'm just singing that song in my head anytime I see him. And it characterized um, Takumi and Isami's, I guess beneficial relationship another really big thing to uh, point out though is that Irina does say that it's near superhuman level so I do wonder if Takumi has another superhuman ability like remember this man had developed a really weird st uh, stalking style so maybe that's really the superhuman ability and then he's just augmented by the teamwork regardless teamwork makes the dream work and I'm very excited to see him and Soma uh, pull this off like you know, initially, before it was revealed that it was going to be so long, I was going to come in and critique the whole idea of Takumi being the one that got into a tag battle. Because, again, you see the narrative value in there. Um, because it seems... The Metzaluna itself is a teamwork-based knife, right? It makes sense that... Kind of working on that teamwork pro uh, aspect is a great way to show off Takumi's unique talents. And so, you know, the, the argument would have been at that point... Did the author make a good enough job of convincing us why we're doing this so differently? And overall, I would have said, like, yeah, he did a pretty good job. We've already seen how haphazard the blue is in general. That nature of the blue just being kind of put together really helps sell the idea that this WGO head person would just be like, yeah, OK, let's uh, let's 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 uh, co let's, uh comply to the request of the illegal chef. Um, so overall, I think. It was a fun chapter. It was overall a very fun chapter. Um, I do find it funny though that the WGO's security is so bad that a couple of drag queens could afford to go and kidnap a child and tie him up in some room. I think that's funny. Mind you, I don't really know where Izami is. So, you know, Lord only knows what exactly happened there. I do feel bad that the kid got kidnapped though. So, again, uh, I, I hope he'll be okay. Regardless, I have really just good things to say about the chapter i think this was good characterization during the cooking matches is really what makes the cooking matches easier to talk about because if you're just looking at food descriptions you know there's not really much there but you know you're having a preparation thing here you have some really funny imagery with the preparation i think this is a step above um as Def's general preparation stuff like come on man she detonated something this is a lot more reasonable i'm totally into it so guys you know overall what do you think? What do you think is going to happen? I didn't read last week's comments because it's just been a busy week that kind of contributed to why, this, to why this video came late. But uh, yeah, what are you guys thinking? 
Where do you think we're going with this? Do you think we're just trying to get out of this arc as fast as possible? Or do you think the author is going to take his time and uh, uh, just focus on the four main characters for this being Irina, Soma, Takumi, and Megumi? Like, let's see. Soma got involved here with the Takumi fight. Uh, if we assume that each character is getting three chapters, Soma's already passed, so three more chapters for Takumi, three chapters for Megumi, three chapters for Arena. They take out, uh, they take out Asami, oh sorry, not Asami's, uh, they take out Asahi's inner court. So that's like right there, nine chapters, and then another three chapters for Soma to fight Asahi, maybe, maybe uh, one chapter intermission. But you, you kind of see how fast we're going in between pieces here. Uh, yeah, that's still like roughly 12 chapters of content. So, ass assuming three chapters a pop. Yeah, I'm, I'm very curious. I'm very curious about this arc. I'm very curious about what the author wants to do here. I'm very curious as to why he did what he did last week. Anyway, overall, this uh, this chapter of Soma, cool, man. Cool chapter. I want more like this. Uh, but if we're going into just cooking, though, I do still want just 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 shorten that a little bit. Uh, I, I, yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a tough situation to be in. Just make a good cooking chapter and it'll be cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, overall, those are my thoughts for uh, this week. Let me know what you thought down below, and I will read the comments for this week for sure. Uh, so yeah, till next time, I hope you have an absolutely great day. And yeah cool stuff.